Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, and I will be taking callers today, answering their questions, and um, hopefully helping with some guidance on the way, on their life, on the journey. I want to let you know a couple just promotional, quick promo notes. Hopefully these will be quick. Um, I do private sessions. I've received a number of emails asking if I do for private sessions and how do they work. And I do private sessions. I do uh, phone sessions where you actually call me and we will spend 30 or 60 minutes where I answer your questions about life, love, career, finances, or help you connect with loved ones on the other side. During a session, you can do both connect with loved ones on the other side and or ask questions about your life and where it's going, what you should do. Um, I'm not the boss of you. Whatever I say during a private session comes from angels, guides, loved ones on the other side. Um, and I do 30 and 60 minutes. And if you want to know more about my private sessions, you can go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot info, I-N-F-O, Tony G dot info. And it's, it says a bit about my private sessions on there. And if you want to book, it gives you instructions on how to book. I can typically get people in very quickly. Please don't expect a same day appointment though. Okay, now that I've said all of that, I need you to know I'm going to be taking questions and I have so many people waiting on the call log. And I, I do this show for a number of reasons. I love having connection with, uh, you know, just people and trying to help them as they call it. That's the number one reason. Oh, and, and really quick, just another side note, I will never ever reach out to anybody and say, hey, you need a reading. Hey, I, I will never ever do that. First of all, I don't even have time to reach out to my friends and talk to them. <laughs> like, seriously, I am all about work, 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 work. <laughs> if it's not work, I'm not I'm not in it, not for a minute, not for an hour, not for a day, okay? I'm just about work right now. Um, and so if somebody reaches out to you saying they're me, just e report them. If it's on social media, especially. Somebody did that to my little niece because <laughs> she's, of course, on my social media account. And she right away, my niece has some sass to her, but the person reached out and said, hi, it's, it's Tony. Would you like a reading? And my niece is like, you're not my aunt. You're getting reported. Um, so if somebody does reach out to you and says, would you just report them and let them get shut down because those are scammers and we don't need that. Okay. Now to the show. If you would like to watch the show live, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. You can <clears throat> watch live and post questions in the chat. If I can get to the questions in the chat, I will. Or you can call in um, the numbers 845-277-9131 as I call out your area code. And I, I know I can't, I can't show not even where they're calling from just the phone number no names no nothing so I don't ever know who's calling in I might think I recognize a number but I don't half the time I don't I think it's going to be somebody and I don't recognize the number <clears throat> excuse my voice this is this usually happens when somebody's stepping in to give a message when I call out your area code please have a very clear question available. If you are going to say, please tell me about my love life, please book a session for that. I want a very clear, direct question that I can answer because there are a lot of people calling in. There are a lot of people who have been calling in for months and have not gotten through. So I do try to get to as many people as possible. That is 
partially why I opened up Wednesdays. Um, <clears throat> also, do not have me on speakerphone, Bluetooth, headphones. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice. Um, put your phone to your face, folks, because that is the way we are going to get the best audio. Please remember, this is airing on many different TV stations and podcasts. So let's make the audio. Let's work together. Let's be a team and make the audio as clear as possible for everybody listening. I want to say hi to everybody on um YouTube that is saying hi to me. So Steve, Mimi, um, I think it's Bill, um, and Heather and Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Hey, how are you? Okay. I am going to go to the first caller, 954. 954, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. What's your name? Where are you calling um, from? I, New York, New York, and my name is Sharon. Sharon, how can I help you today? Okay, I just wanted to know if you see a relationship in 2022 for me. Okay. Um, a romantic relationship. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tapping in and I'm fishing through to see. I feel like if you're going to have a relationship this year, I hear July, but I really hear September. Okay. So I feel like in July there's the potential, but I don't, I feel like it's going to be a near miss or a hit and miss, meaning you might meet somebody and think it's going to go someplace, but, and maybe you go out a couple of times or hang out for a month or so, but it really doesn't go any place. But I feel like in September, it, September, I I feel like in September, whatever is going to be going on for you in 2022, as far as relationships go, I feel September is going to be the month you're going to know. Now, I want to say I did hear July and now I'm hearing a soft August. So maybe something comes in in July, but it's it doesn't kick off until September. Uh, maybe you talked a couple times during July and August. But I feel like, okay, I'm going to just let all of that go. And I'm going to say September. In September, you will have the potential to have somebody in your life that has the ability to be a long-term partner where you can grow in love together and move forward. You are going to need to practice a lot of um, understanding is the word I'm getting for this because, because I feel like the way the two of you communicate might be different, okay? And I've been in this situation where you say one thing and they understand it a different way, or they say something and you understand it a different way. And it might be because of um, either a language barrier or just the way people are up, um, up brought, brought up, <laughs> brought up, um, can sometimes have them understand certain statements or conversations in a different way. Um, so please be mindful of that one thing. Be mindful of being able to uh, uh, work, uh, to be patient in the, the area of communication. And then you are going to be very, 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 very pleased with this. Now, I, I want to say, you know, I used to say you're going to meet somebody in September. This person's going to be a really good person. It's going to go really far. We self-sabotage. We really do. We totally self-sabotage ourselves and our relationships. So when I would say to somebody, you're going to meet somebody in September, they would sit on their couch eating ice cream all of September and say, <laughs> I didn't meet anybody in September. I'd be like, did you get out? Well, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did you expect the pizza delivery guy? Did you expect somebody to like pound on your door and say, hey, it's me? So during the month of, oh, ooh, this just in, love. I feel like you're going to meet this person at an event. And I feel like, oh my goodness. 
I hear out of town, out of town. Now, one of two things that can mean a number of different things. Okay, this person could be coming in from out of town for this event, or this could be an event that you have to attend out of town. I don't know if it's out of state, but I do know it is out of town. And I do feel like I'm hearing friend of a friend. So this could be somebody who is in some way associated like a friend of a friend. If this is a family event or a, um, yeah, 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 a, uh, a friend, obviously a friend event or even a work event. This could be somebody who knows people you know, but the two of you have never, ever met yet. You have not met yet. And you, you're you not even familiar with each uh-huh. other. You're not even fam- familiar with each other. This will be when you meet, whether it's in July or September, when the two of you meet, it's going to be a first time knowing of each other. So it's not like your social media um, friends or anything like that. You you have no knowledge of each other, but it, it will be a good connection. But remember, and especially in the beginning, if there is a little bit of miscommunication, don't let that determine things because I, he might, you know, when I hear miscommunication and understanding, sometimes somebody says something and they think they're funny and you, other people get offended by it. I'm, I'm that person. Right. I tell, I tell jokes people don't get. I'm cracking up and they're looking at me like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, that, you don't think that's funny. I think that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Right. (laughs) And sometimes people will say things to impress you, and then you Mm -hmm. know it it gets it comes across the wrong way. Like I don't care. I I don't care if you have a PhD and a doctoral, and you know that. But they're trying to they're trying to be funny or impress you. So be really understanding. Be um, take a breath before you react to the conversation this person brings in. Okay, love? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you so much. Many blessings. And uh, thank you again. Absolutely. I appreciate my it. Pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for calling in. I'm really grateful <laughs> we did get to chat. Thank you. Oh, uh, and I, Sorry, I thought you were done. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go to the next caller. You know, folks, sometimes I do that. I think like I say something and then there's this second of a pause between my talking and their talking. And I think, oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next caller now. And then somebody starts talking and I'm like, oh, I cut another person off. I'm so sorry I did that. I didn't mean to. Um, please do call in again and keep me posted on how this situation works out with this person coming in. I am going to go to caller 347. 347, how are you today? Hi, I'm wonderful. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Malvina. I'm calling from New York. Okay, Malvina. How can I help you today? My question is, uh, my mom passed, and I was wondering if she has any messages for me. Yes. Okay. So, Melvina, the first thing, oh, my gosh, your mom is, uh, there's so much coming in. It's like a flooding. So, the first thing your mom wants to say is um, that she wants you to know everything's going to work out, and it's going to be okay. Whatever this situation is that she's referring to you should know what it is um she also wants you to know that you're going to be moving ahead in a strong and powerful way whatever this is it's it's almost it's like almost over it's almost over it's coming to the end it's coming to the end she is letting you know there's there's going to be um solace soon or solace you're going to get solace with this um and that you are going to, I, I I hope this makes so much sense for you. The recovery is going to be quick and you are going to 
um, bounce back. Now, I don't think this was one of your mom's songs, but the song, the song I'm hearing as it relates to this is uh, some, I think the song goes last night I took an L, but today I bounce back. So, so I don't think your mom is singing that, but that song is coming in. So even if you, you, even if you took a loss, you're bouncing back and you're going to come back twice as strong is basically what she wants to say to you. She's also letting you know there are rewards for the just. There are rewards for the just. Now, I do get a feeling, and if this isn't your mom, it's her mom because they're next to each other. So if this isn't your mom, it's her mom. But I get the feeling one of them was okay. a really big church goer or a really big, um, like they were very, um, like some of the things they want to bring through are what would be said in like rewards for the just or things. I, it has a feeling of a church sermon to it. Uh, whatever that means, and if it's, okay. if it's synagogue or church or w whatever people call it, it's it's okay. Um, but she is she, they they together are saying that whatever nothing can be taken, and rewards will be reaped. Rewards will be reaped. Don't worry so much. Everything is going to uh, come back and you are going to see things more clearly and you're going to realize that everything that that uh, that brought you to this point was. Um, I'm hearing two words, a blessing and a miracle, a blessing and a miracle, a blessing and a miracle. Okay. Now, the other thing that okay. they they want to say to you, there's they want to give you a uh, confirmation so when, okay, when you see um, butterflies, <laughs> I know this is one that they, butterflies, like a lot of loved ones use butterflies because that's something we really pay attention to. But they're saying whether it's a butterfly tattoo, um, a butterfly in a photo, a butterfly, an actual butterfly, that that's a confirmation that they are around you. And one of them, something with um, Christmas trees, like not, I'm not seeing it. Oh, those are called pine trees. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> so, something with, I was like, I'm, I'm seeing what looks like a Christmas tree, but it's not decorated and it's outside. Oh yeah, that would be a pine tree. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> one, one of them <laughs> is saying that whenever you see a pine tree, also known as a Christmas tree, um, <laughs> in its afterlife, a uh, pine tree is a Christmas tree and it's afterlife. Um, whenever you see this, it is a sign from them also. If there's something I don't know, and this is like a really weird connection. If this is the actual connection, I will just crack up. But um, there, if she, if they used to, there's something about the smell of it. Like if they used to use pine saw on the floor or something, there's something about the smell of the pine tree that is supposed to be. Um, I, it, it's, it's literally one of my favorite smells in the world. Thank you. Oh, see, I don't always know yeah. <laughs> the exact confirmation, but thank you for saying that. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> So that is another confirmation that whenever um, you see that or you're around that, um, that they are with you. But they also want you to know that they're they are always with you, and they are um, they're they, okay. They want me before I start giving you the all they they love yous. You know they love you. Uh, yada yada. Um, what they want to say that the statement for you is steady, strong, steady, strong. Stay steady, stay strong, stay steady, stay strong. And and you are going to come out of this better than you went into it. I hope that makes sense to you, love. Yes. Yes. 
Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the uh, confirming the confirmation. And thank you so much for calling in today. Please call in again. And um, I will be really um, happy to, um, to talk with you again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are welcome. So everybody listening, watching, rewatching um, this year, since the beginning of the year, I've, I've, I've said I'm going to do a love healing or clearing at, at every single show. And this is at like the 20 minute mark of the show. So if you just want to leap forward to just the clearing for um, this show, you're going to kind of go ahead to that point. And if you want to re-listen to it, you can. But today's love clearing is... Um, going to be because I, I should have done it at the beginning of the show. And for some reason, I was just, you know, talking like I do. Uh, we are going to I'm going to ask or confirm we are in love with our life. And I get a no. And we're going to clear that because if we want to be in that place where we can bring in everything that we want. If we want to be in that place where we are happy and healthy, we have to be in love with our life because we get more of where we are. If we're sad, if we're depressed, if we're in those places, we get more of that. If we're happy, if we're um, loving life, we get more of that. So let's do that clearing and then I also, you know, the past couple of years have been different, to say the very least. So the one thing I want to do is um, let's clear any, uh, I just want to call it nonsense from the past couple of years. And whatever the nonsense has been for you and me, it may be different, but let's just clear all the nonsense from the past couple of years. Oh, that one is like knocking the wind out of me. So everybody uh, watching on YouTube, if you feel these clearings, give me a yes or a thumbs up or something. And I want to thank my new people for being here. Fawn, hey Fawn, Genevieve and I think that's Brenda. If I got it wrong, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 415. 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, I'm going to ask you first, and then I'm going to see this um, over on top of the floor. Right up there. So okay. Um, hello, 415. Hi. All right. I, I'm really not sure what that was. So I am going to go to 310. 310. <laughs> 310. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes. Yes, hi. My name is Susan, and I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Susan. How, Hi. How can I help you today? Yes, I'm wondering if you see any romantic prospects coming up for me. Okay, not until June. Um, you okay. might you might meet people and talk with people prior to that, but in it, it, you know, there's a difference between meeting someone and having a real prospect. Um. So I feel like in June, you have, again, the potential to meet somebody that can go the, go the distance, so to say. Now, I'm not going to say it will, but I'm going to say this is somebody that can be a longer term relationship. I feel like the people you meet between now and June may be a little bit confusing is the Hi. word I'm getting. <laughs> huh. I think there's a goose out there, outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Go figure. <laughs> really? Confusing? <laughs> In today's world? Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like in June, you're going to meet someone. And the biggest thing about this person that you meet in June is that from the moment you meet this person, there is steady conversation, really good conversation. I mean, like, like you meet and you talk like you've been friends for a hundred years and that doesn't stop. You just keep like that communication keeps going and you, the two of you can talk about just about anything. And it's not that you're always on the same page, but you just have the, this great, these great conversations with each other. And I cannot tell you, I'm sure you know how invaluable that is in any relationship to be able to have those really, really, oh, yeah. really amazing conversations. And if you're on the same page with things, that's even better. Um, I do feel like the person that you meet in June, there might be one little hiccup. I'm not even going to call it a complication. I'm going to call it a hiccup. And this, but this hiccup will come and go. Okay, this hiccup will come okay. and go, whatever it is. And again, it could be something as simple as a little misunderstanding where you, you thought you were supposed to get together and it, it, whatever. I don't know what it was. I don't want to make up scenarios because who knows what it's going to be or be about, but it's going to be one quick hiccup. And then, and then it's going to come and go. This situation that comes in in June does have the potential to be a, a good situation. You are going to meet this person organically. You don't need to be online for this person. You don't need to meet this person on a dating site. Um, I feel like, and what they're showing me, and this isn't literal, okay? Although I literally told someone they were going to probably bump into this a person and they did they literally bumped into that person but what i'm seeing is like a coffee shop or cafe lunch cafe type of setting like where the okay. communication just starts so you are out and about doing maybe what would be your normal thing or stopping in at a coffee shop rather than doing the drive through thing or having a, a lunch, a little lunch someplace. I don't feel like it's like a dinner restaurant. I feel like it's, if they serve food, it looks kind of like a coffee shop to me, but it's kind of that environment. And it's not, it, and this could mean just any place you're out, you have the potential to meet this person. Okay, love? Okay. Great. Excellent. Please call. Okay, fabulous. I, I think so too. Call me back and let me know when you meet this person and, and what the circumstances are. I love to hear back about these things, okay? I will. Perfect. I will. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day.